Hello one for the day one recap of Scourge. Uh, there was supposed to be a video yesterday that got released before Scourge started about like what two builds I was considering playing, but when I was trying to make the video, I don't know what happened to my internet, but it just lagged out on the second build to the point where then I had to go to work right after so I couldn't record it. So that's why this is sort of the day two video technically, but recapping day one. So, we started the league about five, no, I think about five, six hours, five hours-ish, I think, late, because I had to work, and it was pretty much between playing Bleed Last Raid, the one I played back in 3.13, that, you know, on day three of the league, or four at least, something like that, it was already face-taking Cyrus as being, five, so all, all face Cyrus, pretty much. And the other one I considered playing was Carry On Golems because it was a comfort build for me. Like how the um, the the totem build is, because I play totem so much on League Star, you know, I exactly how to play it. And pretty much what I did is I looked at the prices when I got on and saw like the prices weren't bad for like the three primordials and the clay shapers. And then I looked at the um, Herophilia, whatever type of gloves they are for the last raid build, the ones that explode. Those were cheap also, both builds were optional. So I just asked chat which build they wanted me to see me play, Golems or Last Raid. And chat said Golems, so we just went with Golems. And we are going pretty slow through this. We're about averaging only an hour per act right now, which is pretty bad. But Scourge is pretty bad. Scourge don't give you anything about leveling. So right now we're only on, we just got to act six and We've been having a lot of disconnects today in the low time, in the five hours, I, seven hours? We started at seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah, in the five hours I played, we've had I think like six disconnects, crashes, it's been bad lags, it's been pretty bad so far. Scourge does not help you level at all, it makes you pretty slow. So it's been pretty much just grab whatever we could find and level with it. We've been using um, Summon Raging Spirits it actually works pretty good with zombies. And then we just threw two, um, one stone golem, one carrion golem, just for, just to throw on, just cause we could, pretty much. Uh, pretty much the gear is pretty bad. It's just a, f a fire recipe, double wand. You know, every piece on here is just whatever we can find on the ground. You know, two four links, uh, some two rings that just have whatever I can find that's been better. Try to get resistance up, dex, you know, life. It's like life resistance, you know, trash flasks. It's pretty bad so far. Like right now, it's just an arcane surge with flame dash. Uh, skitter bots, because the shock is pretty helpful to have while going through this, slowing down a little bit. Uh, like the Kieran Golem, a Ray Spectre, we're just leveling, and a Stone Golem. There should technically be like, um, you know, main feeding frenzy, like the one that's sitting right here, which probably make more sense. And then just moving this in the back. Whatever, we reset them and cast them again. So in the POB, just flip them. But it's probably like the way it should be for now, just because give feeding frenzy to both of them, which doesn't hurt. But like pretty much like one of the four lanes, it's pretty much the actually both four links are the exact same. Both of them are melee fizz, melee splash, and minion damage. One is just a zombie, and one is just a raging spirit. It pretty much just makes it pretty easy level. I just use like raging. Sp I use pretty much. Um, oh no, one. Never mind. So multi strike and melee fizz with the minion damage. This one is just melee splash. So I haven't bought a multi strike for them, so that's the only difference. It pretty much was a minion splash. The one right here until I got multi-strike from act four, and then I just put it in. Cause this is like the same style I'm gonna use when I switch over to carry on golem, so I can just flip the spirit here and carry on golem here, and I'm solved. That's pretty much the idea. And like a random flame ability for cursing, like once I switch out of raging spirit, I just drop the flame ability ring. You know, conviction, this is, helps when you, cause with the skill tree, this boosts a lot of damage. And that's actually it for that. Go away. Uh, pretty much the tree, if I can find a button is, there we go. Uh, we've only done the first lab, so we just took uh, minus aggression. 
because we're trying to go for the plus two level. And then eventually we'll go for Commander Darkness and just go for either Bone Barrier or Sacrifice. I haven't really looked at which one it is. But leveling right now is just, you know, take on the minion damage. Got the life here. I went up this way, get the plus one zombie damage, life. Went back this way, get all the resistance with uh, all elemental resistance for psi And then since I, if you're not doing this as a leak start and if you had the um, primordials already, clay shapers, you can definitely just shoot up this way and go straight for this. I went this way around just because I wanted to get the extra life and mainly I wanted to get the um, enduring bond because this gives you more mana or more minion damage if you if you use a minion skill recently and you just keep slamming uh, conviction for a massive damage boost. So I just went this way early on. I could have gone here for more damage for like accuracy or something, but I skipped it for now. You know, more damage. So it's a lot of damage here. It does help early on while leveling if you don't have the primordial jewels. And then I shut up this way and then I just went back and got what I normally would have earlier. Like that's when I picked up the um, death of two for the extra skeleton, I don't know, zombie if you're using skeletons instead, specter, damage if you want life, there's that option. And here is just the uh, minions have increased crit strike chance. You know, your life node with more life. Jewel slot. If you have Primordial Take, if you don't have the Primordial Jewels yet, you can just skip it. Your whole Golem section here for the extra Golem, buff effects. This is what give you your damage, your minion's leech. You know, like Cluster Jewel in the future. Here, you have, op I went this way first because I'm trying to rush, I wanted to rush the um, the huge damage node, damage cluster. You can definitely go here first if you want like the AoE. If you want to get yourself life, if you want to get your mana reserve, which you don't need until you start doing a lot of mana stuff, which I that will be coming actually really soon for me. So I'm gonna probably end up picking like then this way, you know, 16%. This way, 16%. And then with this one, I might do the maybe the unholy might for four seconds. I gotta check, see what. Oh, no, I already did. It. No, right, this is overwhelming. So yeah, I went this way first, hit this, and then I'm gonna hit the 16 up here next. And then I'm just gonna go this way and pick up all this. And once I get that, I'll probably figure out from there. I'll probably go with the, the reduced mana and then shoot back up to like these and these. And then start just going down this way and I get a jewel. You know, picking up all the life up here. Yeah, that one, yeah. Or this one. And I think I'm gonna go this. I, we'll figure out from the next video, but I think it's more like this way. Maybe like shoot down like this or something. And like pick up all this life up here maybe or something like that. It depends really. There's a lot of options like Jewel Slot. We'll figure out. It'll be more and easier to see like, if I should get that point. It's pretty basic. We're only like, we're not even that far leveled. Level 47. I can show it quick. I and mean, it's pretty self-explanatory for anyone who's done these type of video or builds. We can just go through the first area I guess. There's not much to show. Like if you had Tabula, if you had Primordials, Clay Shapers, your time would be a lot easier leveling, to be honest. It's not bad for leveling, though. Like, you, with all of this alone, definitely does clear pretty quick. So you just do Raging Spirits. You can see that you clear a pretty fast pace. And leave it can't so far. I'm not a big fan of it. It's pretty much kill, raise the bar, hit this. You definitely, I mean, the damage is super high right now. I will link the POB inscription below. Just remember the change I made with the Feeding Frenzy. I'll, probably, I'll make sure I change it before. But you can see the clear is extremely quick and nice, which is not bad. Just keep using Conviction, Flammability. I'm bossing as long as Nades before. Like the reason I'm not a big fan of the um, lead mechanic is I haven't really, like I barely touched it. Uh, is it this one I think? Yeah. This one. 
Like, I have barely touched it. I'm just leveling whatever I can. I never put I haven't put any items in there yet. I mean, damage is not bad. It definitely has a way to go. I will talk about something at the end of this. Like, you are squishy. Oh, well, we actually got... That's actually not bad. I will actually consider using those. But yeah, you can see the damage is questionable. Not the best, not the worst. I mean, it is super budget. But yeah, when you activate this, you gotta be very careful. This one I don't like is everything that drops, that I notice, is pre-scourged. Which I'm not a fan of at all. Because, like, you know, this already pre-scourged. It'd been cool, I think, if they dropped not pre-scourged. Like, maybe some do, some don't. I think it could be interesting to see if maps do or not. Like, if maps drop pre-scourged, that could be really interesting to see. But, you know, it's nowhere near Act 10, so it doesn't make a difference. Like, this one, we'll get the 16 damage up there. Like, you see the clear speed's not bad. For just being whatever budget crap this is. Not the best, not the worst, but pretty much we're just trying to save up currency. As of the recording this video, which is yesterday, after I ended my stream, the blue and white primordial are between two to five each. And the harmony, part of might, the most expensive one is around 40 to 50 chaos right now, which is expensive. They were nine when I first started this when I first got on today for like five, three hours. And then they magically just shook high rocket in price, which sucked. But it's, you know, that's the big thing about the build. It, you do want to get currency early on, get your primordial might. You need two of them. Because you need one of each, the red, the blue, and the white. Sell them to a vendor, it'll give you the, the purple one. Which is the one that gives you the extra golem. And then you want to get another copy of one of each and equip them on your character. And then eventually in the high budget version, you would buy, you know, a bunch of the blue or white ones. And those make your golems do like millions of damage, super fast, all that kind of stuff. Eventually from the clay shapers, you would jump over to uh, cold iron points for plus six to your good gems. There's a lot of stuff to do with the build, just it needs the currency, which is a big thing right now. If the prices of the uh, primordial jewels skyrocket overnight to like say the blue and white ones are 15 20 chaos a pop primordial might the red one is you know one the two exalts clay shapers drop up to 15 20 chaos i'm gonna re-roll the build so because there's no reason on a leak start build to get the build to the comfortable state it should not cost you four or five acts to do. It is not worth playing a league start build like that. Because I originally looked at this build when I first got on, you know, what was it? It was like 18, 19, 21, 2, 23, 4. 28 chaos for all the primordial jewels for six of them, plus, you know, th six more. So it was like under 50 chaos for the whole entire build. And that's a big, that's good. If the build is super expensive, I will be re-rolling to Lacerate, which was the build I originally planned on playing. Because I know the build's extremely strong. And I know exactly what to get early on. That's why I haven't... I had did the ability class in Act 6, but I haven't spent the um, the little currency I have to get the other jewel, uh, jewels. Like the um, Generosity with the... Um, shit. Dread Banner, I believe, the Impale one, and Pride, if I'm correct. I had to check the POB. Like, get those, put them on there, get the um, Flesh Offering, the, all, like, all that kind of stuff. I need to fix my colors. That's a big problem, too, right now. I don't have the currency to do anything. So that's definitely going to be a big factor, especially I just got these boots. So that might change some things here and there. If we link them, I should say, actually. Okay, maybe we will. 
So that might change a little bit. The problem is colors. This don't roll red. Based on experience, it's really hard. There might be that. Okay. So I'm probably going to have switching these. This won't be in the POB, but there's like a switch I'm going to make, put one less on. Like these boots are not good. It's just, you know, nine more movement speed, lose a little bit of life. And resistance should be doable. It depends on the resistance number. I got to take a look at that guy. So I might use them, might not. It's really hard to say. It's just at least they're there. And worst case scenario, if that boot, if I want to just dump them, you know, I can get at least one, two chaos for them at least. But, you know, like I have three chaos here. At least we have a little bit of currency. I just want to see the prices of the items before I fully invest more into like, but to destroy my currency because I'm voting if I need to reroll or not. So I want to know. So it's a super, this is a short video. Just want to get a quick update on.